1995, Ed Simons and Tom Rollins were on the verge of being sued. The two guys had previously set up an alias and were recording music, thinking to themselves that, ah, we'll be okay, we're never going to be that big anyway, it won't matter. Well, how wrong could they be? So, like I say, in 1995, they got a call from the original Dust Brothers, who the two guys had decided to name themselves after, and were politely advised to drop the name and come up with a new name. So, uh, they grabbed the name The Chemical Brothers. Now, I personally believe that these two guys under the name the chemical brothers are the biggest act in the world of electronic music ever i personally do not think there is anybody who touches them and you can include orbital left field daft punk in that list uh just for me i base them on their music their originality, their production, the entire package. In the background is one of their less commercial tracks, which uh, still created an awful lot of damage for underground DJs such as myself playing in, in clubs. Just to hear this record drop on a full club sound system is just something else something else i've been playing this record for a long time and it has never failed me never i could quite easily devote an entire show to the chemical brothers and there are many outstanding albums uh, but uh, for today I'm focusing on this I've even purposely left the price sticker on Virgin £2.99 what? Yeah. from back in a time when you walk into a big chain store record shop and buy animal tunes like this for £2.99 um, I'm sure you'll also remember HMV had like a three for for ten pound deal, and like and these weren't three like sort of average mediocre records. These were like three big classic records that you could get for ten pounds. Where like these days you can struggle to buy a, a UK record for for sort of under fourteen pounds. Mad. So this to me is just one of many reasons why, I'll say it again, I believe the Chemical Brothers to be the biggest act in electronic music.